is Berkeley, California, where it all began, where you may see white women with afros, people protesting in the streets, and if a little girl claims that she wanted to be Wonder Woman when she grew up, her parents would say, yes, you can. I went to Berkeley High, which is a few blocks away from UC Berkeley, adjacent to Telegraph, where you would always hear African drummers drumming, see people dancing in the street, maybe grab a slice of pizza at Blondie's. Mm. Bye, 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 I'll see you, bye, come visit, come visit. I'm gonna call you, I'll call you. Take your vitamins, get plenty of sleep. And do real well as always, okay? okay. All right, get rich. Thank you. All right. I took a liking to acting, so I decided to move to a city down south that would really appreciate what Thank I had to you. offer. I'll babysit your dog if you want. For your kids. I just didn't like staying the night. Oh, OMG. Girls gotta do what girls gotta do. Mm -hmm. No, that's how this town works. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't get your hopes Turns out, life. I wasn't the only girl arriving in town with that idea. I, I like you, I do. It's just, you're, you're so charactery. We need more of an African-American descent for this role. I need a sister. You don't speak Spanish, you don't look Spanish. You eres Latina. Do you wanna maybe talk about this somewhere else? Maybe get a drink? Next, please, just help her out, please. I don't got time for this. Get out. Now. The video. Oh, you want me to go talk with okay. Yes. They were like, why not? Do us a favor. Then, I was struck with reality. Uh, I just paid this. So I began to take a job. Any job I could get in order to pay my bills while waiting on my big break. Carrie was my industry mentor from the Berkeley High School's community outreach program from Scars to Stars. I can always count on her support. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just want to feel good. I just want to feel good. Oh my god. So let me get this straight. You have to swing a roll, and you have a triple X roll, and you're gonna share lips with lesbian, right? <laughs> Carrie, so what do you think? Mo, honey, oh my god, you're real? The real is terrible. What do you mean? This is horrible. Promise me, promise me that you will never show this to anyone. Oh my god, that is so mean. Look, this is the last day of my waitressing job. I don't need any more negativity in my life. Looky here, Vanola. LA's a different beast than Berkeley. I mean, as a friend, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, acting is not your calling. <laughs> oh, but you have other gifts. You really do. You have other gifts, like uh, helping people. I mean, you are so good at helping people. Remember that time you helped me with Ariel? <laughs> your uh, uh, Lexico and your well-being for myself. Monica, thank you so much. You don't know how much this means to me. And you're kind of shaping up for such a tragic mulatto that's so light. The hair, I'm going to work on that. Okay, but what the fuck is my Wingstop Popeye combo? Mm -hmm. Dark meat, white meat, drumsticks? You never told me to get I'm it. sorry, I never told you to get my chicken? Oh, so you think I'm trying to get high on an empty stomach up in this bitch? You think I'm that stupid? This bitch trying to kill me just when I gave you credit. That's what I get for having faith in somebody who's goddamn light skin. She's trying to fucking kill me up in this bitch. All right, so you know what I think you should do? I think that you should come help me in the office for a couple of weeks answering phones. And I bet that if you get the hang of it, you will find that you no, I just can imagine giving up my dream. It would just crush me. Oh, well, what other options do you have? <laughs> so, get your butt to bed. I need you there to open the office tomorrow. I've got an early morning meeting, and uh, I'll be in at noon. Okay, I'm going to bed. All right, oh, in the, uh, the alarm code, you'll have to disarm the alarm when you unlock the door. Write this down. Five star, one star, one star one. I remember, I'm going to bed now, okay? <laughs> yes. Aren't we all? I think I need a drink.
Mo. Do you realize that we lost three hours of work today because of you? Oh, and not only that, that little call from the police today interrupted a very important meeting. I was just about to sign Shannon Dougherty's sister, and now thanks to you, she thinks the office is too small and too irresponsible. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Carrie, I Shh. think you think Listen. the I do not want to hear it. I do not want to communicate with you right now. My door is closed! I, I have to leave again. I have a, I have a meeting and then dinner with the family. It's Rosh Hashanah, you know. <laughs> Carrie, you're not Jewish. Make sure you answer all the calls, and if Ariel calls, make sure you hand her with special care. She's our only client. We lose her, and I can't afford you. Capiche? Capiche. No personal phone calls. <laughs> I wasn't gonna tell him that was your date. It was the fish tacos that had extra onions in it. No, don't do it, girl. I'm telling you. If she's gonna try to talk to your man, any guy that you show any interest in, she's gonna flash her little booty in front of him. No, don't do it. I'm telling you. Dating's horrible here. It's all cutie pie, little brother at Starbucks and stuff. Was checking me out and all that. Out. Smiled at him. He asked me for some change. <laughs> yes. No. Let me let me call you back. We're gonna call. Okay. This is gotta call. Gotta call. All right. Weinstein Associates. Batala, Ashe, good morning, my sweet Onika. Mom, I told you to stop calling me that. It's Monica now, okay? What? You added an M to that beautiful African name that I gave you? You mutilated your name? Mom, I had to change it. No one knew how to pronounce it. And when I tell them it's African, they really don't understand me. I don't fit into any of these race-specific categories. I raised you to be who you are, this beautiful black woman. But mom, you're white. Excuse me, but I am black by injection, sweetie. Come on, ma! Look, I don't want to argue. You're already stressing me out. I could stop at the chapel and light a candle for, for you. you. How's that? All right. Okay. Thanks. Well, I love you, sweetie. Okay, mom. Love you, too. You know, I cut my hair off like Amber Rose, but I have a huge hook in the back of it. It just doesn't work. I'll call you back. Uh, Weinstein and Associate. I was wondering if I could speak with Carrie, please. Uh, she's at his office at a meeting. A meeting? Well, who it is? Uh, Monica, ma'am. Oh. oh, Veronica. <laughs> well, yeah, um, clearly you must be fully aware that I'm not happy with the way that my career has been going as of late. So do me a big favor and let Carrie know that I'm still pissed. I'm still hot about the whole Angelina Marianne Pearl thing. Okay, well, what about it? What about it? See, Marianne Pearl is black, stupid. And that part should have been mine. My part. It's about as crazy as me auditioning for One Tree Hill. They wouldn't let me do that. They wouldn't let me. It's not right. It's not fair. <laughs> Sounds like a black man's left leg. <laughs> Get it? Right? Fair? She has the worst coffee here. Oh. I don't keep telling her to get organic. She doesn't listen to me. Let me call you back. Yeah, yo, Ma, I know you up there. Yo, what's up? LaBelle, what the hell are you doing here? See, LaBelle, you would call a nigga by his government name. That's some bullshit. You in Hollywood with your bougie ass. He meister. Thank you. Much better. What the hell are you doing here? What do you mean what I'm doing here? I got the purple cushion in my pocket. You love it. I got the brandy, the CB on my crack. You love it. Come on down and quit bullshit and have a drink with me. You are supposed to stay 100 yards away from me at all times. Exactly. Now, according to my calculations, my old lazy pointer here, that's 101 yards. What? That's Get off not that. Not 101 yards. Well, from across the street, it's 101 yards. Man, get off that little small petty bullshit. That's your problem. You'd be stuck Wait, on that you shit. You have to accept the fact that it's over with. I really loved you. 
You never really appreciated me. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. So that's your problem also. Living in the past. That's not healthy, Mo. I appreciate you. You act like you act like I never showed you a good time. What? You ain't never had a good time with me. Yo, my nigga, look me in my eye and tell me you never had a good time with me. Listen, 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 listen. I need you to put this D in your chocho, all right? Okay, put this what? Bitch, listen what I'm saying. Put this dope in your pussy. A nigga got two strikes and I ain't going okay, back. Okay, okay, okay. I'm putting the dope in my pussy. I'm putting the dope in my pussy. <laughs> put that strap in your purse while you're at it. I never showed you a good time. You gonna stand by that? Why is he an associate? Oh, yeah, Hanukkah? Um, Monica, ma'am? Who's this? Look, whatever your name is, child. It's a half breed shit. Listen. Uh, Malo Blancs sent over a pair of exclusive stilettos for me for my green carpet tomorrow that y'all set up. But, anyways, uh. I know you're trying to kind of peep my style. That's fine. But if I don't get those shoes delivered to my house by this evening, you're gonna be fine like Omarosa. You heard? Why are you saying, associate? Hey, hey, what's up, sis? Why are you answering the phone with this? Oh, God, what a relief to hear your voice. Oh, God, things are just crazy right now. Working at Carrie's office full time trying to make ends meet. Well, you know I'm always here for you. I know, you always encourage me to follow my dreams, but it's just so hard when I can't make a living at it. Hey, 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 listen, dollars don't always make sense. Sometimes you gotta be hungry in order to appreciate your blessings when they finally come. Yeah, I'm hungry, all right. I'm living off of every 99 cent menu in the city. Be resourceful. Well, I mean, that's how you work it, okay? Eventually, your hard work is gonna pay off. Listen to your brother. You gotta stay grounded, you gotta stay focused, and you can never compromise your dreams. You feel me? All right, in a few years, we're gonna be doing some positive things that's gonna change the world. And I need you to be one of those soldiers when that destiny manifests. Okay, sis? You know what, bro? It would really, really, really help me out if you could just lend me a few. Are you serious? No, not mid conversation, Scrim! Oh, no! Hello? I mean, why is he an associate? You can't even remember the name of your own company. So how am I supposed to think that you can remember my name? On my shoes. On my lace front wig. You're so stupid. Can't you? Take it easy. Take it easy. Breathe. Why is Monica? Yeah? This is Winnie from Winsong Casting. I have great news for you. The second AD on Spike Lee Film has selected you. To be an extra in a scene. Oh my god. Oh, and it gets even better. I'm going to shove you in the closet if you don't knock it off. Uh, so it gets even better. Denzel Washington is going to be in the scene. Oh my god, oh my god, are you serious? Hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what do you want? Come on, Ica. Listen here, Ariel. I am tired of you butchering my name, okay? It's Monica. Monica! You are just a horrible person. You are mean-spirited, addicted to prescription drugs, wannabe actress, rep by a loser company who has no real friends, and you're, you're just a cut fabulous bitch! Okay, I know it's short notice, girl, but you need to be on set by 5 o'clock and, you know, be professional and be dressed and stuff like that. Hold on, hold on, just a second. Will you give me a goddamn break? Fuck! Uh, anyway, so 
I will text the information to your phone, and um, you know who knows, it might go really well, and you could be picked up as a featured extra. So congratulations. God, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Winnie. Thank you. That's how it is. You get the new movie part and you don't want to share none of the information with your boy, huh, Mo? It's like that? I don't believe it. But check this out. I thought I had some information I'm going to share with you, though. Tell you, tell you the stuff I got going on. Of course, it's always about you. Always make it about you. What are you doing in a suit? Check this out, Mo. I don't know if anybody told you bushy ass, but we got a black man in the White House. Oh, you understand what I'm saying? He's about change. Your boy's about change. You acting like a nigga can't change or something. You ain't changed. You ain't changed. You no job having, fake ass rapper pushing 40 that still wants to be addressed as Heatmeister. You are standing in the way of progress. Excuse me. So that's how you feel. Surprised you didn't mention my two strikes. I called my mom this morning and told her I was getting my third budget. Really? How I cannot break her heart. How are you getting yours? Uh, I'm not telling you my secrets. They told me it was just me. I'm, I get to sit right next to Denzel when he's drinking You his coffee. get to sit next to Denzel. I do. I was told I get to sit next to Denzel. The boobs get to sit next to Denzel. Ladies, we're not getting vouchers today. That's what I heard. Um, if I'm sitting on his lap, I'm getting a voucher. Oh. All right, people, time to work. Let's go. All right, for this scene, we need three people walking behind Denzel. All right, so um, let's go with you. And... Uh, you <laughs> and <laughs> all right, you smile. Come on. Actually, I want you to start here. Okay, start here, and then on action, give it a beat. Okay, so Spike is gonna come out and do uh, last looks. All right, so everybody be cool, be ready. All right, we're gonna do that. Okay, let's see what we got before I bring Danny out. Where's she going? Who, Smiley? Oh, I just got her walking on back there. Okay, well, let's give her a big break and have her walk from the back of the room towards the camera. Right, you got it, boss. Uh, back there. Hey, Denzel. Got it. <laughs> All right, rehearsals up, people. Let's go. Back. Denzel, I didn't do it. Y'all mess with Spike's money, okay? It's back to once, please. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go now. Let's go. In a hurry. Never give up on your dream, Mo. Can't give up. 
I'm so sorry I shut on your dream. Aw, oh, <laughs> come here. Let me loan you some shoulder to cry. I wash my white collar. You know I'm a white collar nine to five nigga now. Straight corporate, you know what I'm saying? I can't believe you got a corporate job. That's what I've been trying to tell you, girl. I'm a changed man, you know what I'm saying? I can hook you up, too. Just listen to me, listen to me. All you need is $200. Okay. Right? And you got to attend three meetings. That's a must. You have to show up to these three meetings. Okay. And at these three meetings, then you got to recruit 10 people. Right? And these 10 people got to have an active credit card. Well, debit card is cool, too. Oh, I don't know, Lavelle. It sounds like a pyramid scam. Ah, my nigga. Listen to me, girl. No, this is that new multi-level corporate marketing shit. This is what white people don't want you to know. And this is how they get down, you know what I mean? This is how Donald Trump got his start. Really? So I'm trying to bless you with the game. This that game right Lavelle, here. Lavelle, I'm blessed already. I need a job. Hey, I'll give you a job. I'm telling you, 200 bucks, three meetings, 10 people. It's a wrap. Why you made any money off of this? Uh, I borrowed some money for my mom to get into it. So, you know, you know if, my mom, if your mama believe in you, the world believe in you. <laughs>